Yak. Presented by Roback. Use code Yak on Roback.com for a generous 20% off your first purchase. Q-zips, polos, hoodies, joggers, shorts. That's generous. Shorts. I'm doing the ad. Shorts. Damn, that's generous. Uh, we zoom back into me, TJ. God, that's generous. Yak, 20% off first purchase uh, through the end of this week. So go check it out. The most comfortable clothes in the world. I'm wearing it. Big announcement. Shut we have up. Francis in studio. Hey, welcome back, hey, Francis. 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 Hey, Francis.
But then you would lose your check mark. You would lose your check mark. No, I brought I brought you take away my sausage, you lose your check mark. Sausage is for everybody. And Roan, uh your hat is on my computer desk at home. In a what bag. about my shirt? Oh, what a great gift. It's also tell, right I'll beside on now. Yes. I texted Roan and he picked out his own gift. The gift Kate a ring. Oh, okay, nice. Why does Kate She's gotten one before? Yeah. Didn't end well. Hey, no, it didn't. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> Oh wow! I'm good at that. <laughs> wow, that's cool. All, the, all your sorrows just went away. You really did. And that is something that, again, the Kings fans, whoever came up with that in Sacramento, innovative. Genius. You said innovative. You said you would never go to a Mississippi State game because the cowbells would drive you fucking crazy. I want to go to a Kings game. That's so what you that's said. Good. You said you would never go. They say, "Oh, light the beam," or "Light the beam." There'll be at least one more home game, no matter what. Maybe I'll go. You should. That'd be so. They're gonna have. They're gonna win trip across. Are they gonna win? So they'll have either they'll have one more this series or several next series, or two more this series. Yeah, I had a good trip home. I enjoyed it. Um, I did a lot of fishing. Um, a lot of Yak fans tried to cancel my birthday reservation that my mom made. Two hundred fifty. Can you uh, hit the cowbell? I was was just talking. It's gonna be. I think the cowbell is you use it for if uh, the Kings are doing something good or if someone's telling a really boring story. Okay. So that's a that's a great idea. So we were, I went fishing most of the days. Uh, oh. We we went five days in a row. Only caught three. Mm. So I didn't <laughs> do very. That's why people tell big fish stories. Embellish, embellish. Yeah. Uh-huh. Need more. Brandon, you can have the cowbell. I don't want the cowbell. You can have the. Cow- I have my own cowbell. You can have the Sacramento have Kings cowbell. I have multiple cowbells. Take the cowbell. It's a gift. Here, Brandon. Not. Got your goose. <laughs> Got your goose. <laughs> you do it like this? You did get your goose. <laughs> oh, no, you did. Mm. Is this how you do it? It's all good. That's I brought good. sausage. I have 15 pounds, and we got to figure out what to do with it. You were, um, uh. Put your hand. There you go. Uh, you do it so, it's so uncouth. Well, first of all, this is like? a very, this is kind of a cheap cowbell. It's a cheap cowbell. You're holding oh. it upside down. He's had it 30 seconds. I don't know how to bring a cowbell. He's already you, insulting you, the you cowbell. You accentuate the noise. The noise comes out of here. And, and you. Hmm. I think you broke the cowbell. I didn't. <laughs> All right, yeah, Brandon, go ahead. Tell us how it was. It was good. It was good. Two we weeks? Were, two weeks. It was a little long, yeah. We were supposed to come back Monday, but something happened, and I can't remember what it was. Oh, I had to take Tommy to the emergency room. Uh, he he's had, okay? He's okay now, yeah. I texted you about that. Yeah, I ignored it. I saw that. Yeah. Uh, I, you texted me about it. You're like, hey, I got Tommy in the yard. I kind of ignored it. Yeah, you ignored it, so I, I think ignored. I responded. I when was the last time you saw the Goonies? Me through my proxy, because <laughs> I haven't put your name in my phone yet. Mm. That's so, so bad. I didn't know who it was, and then I went back and looked. And by the time I went back and looked, I didn't have anything to say. I inquired as to the health of your young. You boy. did. It was very thoughtful, and I appreciate it. So thoughtful, you neglected to respond. You said yours was thoughtful. I didn't say my response was thoughtful. There wasn't one. You didn't respond to a lot of texts, right? I responded Catholic to yours. Yourself. No, yeah, you did. Yeah. What else? I'm just saying there was a little thing to do. That wasn't me. No, that that was me responding to something I shouldn't have responded to. Fair. It certainly wasn't me not responding. You've been fun to follow, Brandon. There's been so much shit going on with you like every single day. Yeah, I tried to quit. Did you actually? He tried to quit yesterday. What happened Uh, with that? Monday. You tried to quit Monday? Yeah. 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 I thought this was all after like uh, basketball. It was Monday. Oh. Monday. But you- uh, They wouldn't give me a cowbell. You have a new house and stuff. The day I bought the house, yeah. So what? That would. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. such a bad you idea. Are a, yeah, that's yeah. A bad you are idea. a very, yeah. very irrational thinker. Yeah, that was dumb. <laughs> oh my god, that was dumb. Yeah. You're living beyond your means. Yeah, that was an emotional decision. <laughs> You're like one of those players on Last Chance You. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was irrational, but I, I, you know, at one, at some point, enough's enough, and I was like, fuck it. What's fuck it, I'm out. <laughs> right. Who's coming with me? And then, and then, um. Who do you think would come with you? Nobody would come with me. Stats. I, didn't, I didn't want anything anybody to come with me. Oh, she would definitely not. No. Uh, but well, I, I was. You, you wouldn't let me quit. No, I was laughing because I was I was sitting next to uh, Brandon and Rico, two guys who tried to quit in the last six months. <laughs> Rico did quit. What they don't realize is we they ain't going anywhere. We got them for life. Yeah. They, don't go, they ain't going anywhere. So wait, yeah, you just said no. The, you, you're quit. They were just like, nah. Well, I we got a clause in you, dude. You can't. You how far in? The- literally cannot quit. You are you are barstool. You're circus like, folk like us. You're yeah. dying in this company, <laughs> like the rest of That's us. That's fine. It is what it is. Or is it, you think you go? Oh, I mean, I'm happy. I just yes. The other day, I was just I just got all. I was just like, fuck. Still, and I was I was like, enough. In three months. Okay, that's still one month. One month. 
one month, three months, it's the same what thing. What do you think you would have did if you quit? I, I don't know. I'll probably go back to – I was. I, I, there's a misconception. I was happy in Mississippi before I got here. I was happy. I was a – Small time worm farmer, but I was having a good time. <laughs> but you, you, you've got a taste of the good life. Your expensive haircuts, your mm-hmm. products, your clothing, your shoes. Your BMW. Your BMW. Your steak and sex dinner nights. I had those Free before. Sausage. Yeah. yeah, your pallets. Of you weren't getting pussy as a poor man. <laughs> no, you weren't. No, he was. Unfortunately, Besides I was. All the kids. He was. Uh, yeah. Doc, can you switch this TV. We just see uh, TJ scrolling. Is TJ bored? I don't know. I don't know what he's trying to find. It's a reflection of our our banter. <laughs> Brandon, you you're never going anywhere. I know. I didn't. I don't want to go anywhere. I was just in in the moment. I was like, "Fuck, just stop and whatever." I got you for life. Yeah. But then you then you poke back at like Nadu. I needed I needed some reps. Yeah. You got a nice one. I needed to get in the batting cage and and get some cuts in, and I I got him on the do last night. What did Nadu do? Uh, he tweeted about how much Riz he's got. Which uh, he does. Okay. Every guy I know who has a shitload of Riz mm. will tweet about it. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Saying I have a lot of Riz. Right. If you're announcing it, you got it. Right. Exactly. Yeah. It's the ones that don't talk about it. That those are the losers. Right. Rizless. Yeah. Respect so, to Poojine. Yeah. I uh, he's got a fucking thing for Latinas. Yeah, I made him mad. Oh, that's an. You could tell Brandon Walker continue to talk <laughs> shit. I'm tired of it. What if he tried to quit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, you did. That was that wasn't even a reply tweet. No, you, you know it. someone's mad when they don't even at you and they just say your full name. Yeah, and when use it, periods. Yeah, but when you lashed out, it was like when you beat up the the five two kid on your front lawn. Yeah, yeah, that no, was picked him out. Old habits. Bad day. To, there's an important distinction. It was his front lawn. I went to his house to do it. Mm. Well, so you went to you went over to his timeline. You were like, I'm right. hopping yes. in this. Right. Let's see, I get very few people have the charm and riz that I have. But imagine not having any Riz at all, which is most of the men today. And again, it would like, be me. Like I said Monday when, with Dave, I was like, enough is enough. I saw that, and I'm like, all right, enough's enough. We, we can't be tweeting. <laughs> That's, That's a funny response. It's fun. so good. That's yeah, not it's even really the funny, one. Brandon. You're shooting no. game to broads that don't even have air conditioning in Lancaster, PA. Which is not a shot at how poor they are. It's just a Amish. shot that it's Amish. Yeah. And then they, they uh, do uh, uh, okay. I thought it was temperate. No, he <laughs> replied, "You're you're you're from fucking Mississippi. Should you really be commenting?" And Brandon uh, said, "If you fuck like you fight, I'm guessing there's a skyrocketing lesbian population." <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you went nuclear, Brandon. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that one was a little much, but I was feeling it at the time. You know, I was in the cage. I was hitting. I was hitting bombs. I felt good. Sometimes you gotta show off. Him into the cage with a fucking bazooka. You know, and using th- to do his roast rehab is so <laughs> yeah. funny. And I'm gonna be honest; it's the truth. Dave knocked me around a little bit. I had to knock somebody else around. I was just, it, felt, it felt fine. Circle of life. Freak, uh, and and Jeff can handle it. It's like you, you, oh, yeah, you can. lose your fastball, and like we got you set up to the rehab star. Place in Malibu, perfect Wi-Fi. You're just gonna have to tweet about Nadu for a day. Yeah, be all, you'll be fine. Atis oh. numbers. Yeah. Yeah, he is. You're Fernando <laughs> Tartiz. <laughs> Your rehab start. Five home runs. <laughs> I tweeted that, and I was I immediately. I was like, "Well, I don't think what he did matched what I, I do did." Can at handle all. it. He's a, he's he's a good sport. So I bought a house. Uh, can you oh, show yeah. it to me? I'll give you my. I can credit show it card. to you. Yeah. I'll give you my credit card, and if I give it away, you can read off the number. Roan, that's an old credit card. <laughs> it, it How it many was, bedrooms? It was. Uh, four. <laughs> you four <asshole>. bedrooms. Yeah. <laughs> is that enough? Yeah, there's a bonus room too. Okay. Oh, bonus room. Four bedrooms plus. Is that what it was room. listed as? Yeah. What do you What do you, you need? No, no. What's in a bonus, bonus room? room. <laughs> it's an office, right? They They've got it as an office. Bonus room is a a bedroom without a closet. Correct. Yes. Well, you're gonna just. Well, that's use actually that. a thing. Yeah. I've never heard. Oh, that. I didn't either. either. I was. Yeah. I was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Looking fun of like a a real estate agent being like, we got four five bedrooms, four baths, and a bonus room. That's a, no, that's a a standard thing in real estate. Bonus room. Bonus room. There you go, Ron. I'll just send it to you. Bonus is one of my That's just because they legally can't call it a bedroom. If it doesn't have a closet, you can't yeah, call yeah. it a bedroom. Or, or a window. Brandon, like do you still, when you're touring a house, do you still ask for to see the master bedroom? Or do you call it the primary? Ooh, good I call question. It the ma- I call it the master bedroom. Oh, no. Yeah, of course. I had a feeling. Master bedroom. Oh, I, got, no. I refer to most oh, things no. as master. Yeah. Hey, Brandon. Yeah, right? Nice house. Yeah, are we getting yeah. invited Congratu- over? Congratulations. Thank yeah. You. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I know. I know what you just got to. Let me see, yep. see a picture of Cowboy. 
Wait a minute. Am I seeing this correctly over your shoulder, Ron? Because if I am, I I gotta tell you, this looks no, really no, nice. do, yes. no hints, no hints, I'm no not nothing. I'm just saying it looks really it's good. Rin is gonna fuck up and dox himself eventually. It's, it's, it's lovely. Oh my god, that was no. the that was the fifth one I offered on. You tried to quit, you idiot. Yeah. No. Look at look at what God has given you, dude. Look at the fucking bounties. Was well, Portnoy God now? I mean, that's the problem around this motherfucker. <laughs> I'm not saying that. I was just saying God, the the re- the real deal. <laughs> just say, look how blessed you are, brother. Oh, that's I, really I, nice, Brandon. I'm I'm happy for you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Also, that's an incredible price. Yeah, right. I'm yeah. deeply disconcerting about my future here in New York City. Yeah. Now we should say he. He is kind of living in Wisconsin, but that's it's beautiful. Oh, is it? Is yeah. it quite far? Oh yeah. yeah. Hour? How long? Forty five. Uh, hour and a, hour, an hour and fif- twenty without hour fifteen yeah. without traffic. If you that's go off hours, you'll be fine. Yeah. 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 Come in early. I'll be going leave. off hours. Yeah. yeah. People do crazy here to get to New York. People I'm an hour. Like I'm an hour commute, commute, commute right now. Yeah. I like driving in my car. It's the tra- it's when it's like, it's the days that your commute somehow becomes like a three and a half hour. That's That will kill I'm you. I'm excited about having a car again, or at least getting to drive again. God if damn. you're working a w- uh, late night, just stay with me. Yeah. yeah. Got a bonus room. I do think we're going to have a uh, an apartment in... A flop house? Uh, yeah, near the office. What? So who's going to take ownership of that? I feel like somebody like Fasoli will just take ownership no, of that. No, no, no. No, no, He won't have the key. No, no. But we'll, no, no. It's, uh, we should have done it. We talked about doing it when we moved to New York. Um, which would have made sense then. But I thought about, why not just put beds in the new office? I don't want people sleeping in the new office. So we're not bringing Mantis back? No. Mm-hmm. But yeah, there'll be an apartment because, like, Stu's going to come every week. So, Francis Roan, you're welcome to come stay in the new in the apartment. Yeah. Where's the, uh, do you it's going to be right by the office, yeah. Yes. You better get there early before it's covered in sperm. Well, we're gonna yeah. we're gonna yeah. get yeah. a cleaning sperm. lady. A lot of um, sperm. Or cleaning man. He's gonna be covered in sperm. Are there cleaning men? Cleaning yes. men. One of the early oh. Travis Terman was a cleaning man. What? A rough and rowdy champion. Cleaning man. He was a cleaning man. But like a house or like hotel rooms. Oh, really? Huh. Good. There's cleaning men. Eat one that was about to get me canceled, Francis. Did you see that? I saw that, and I had one that Good. I, for you. Good. What, for me? I said, Brandon doesn't call them cleaning men. He calls them illegals. Oh. Ah, yes. That's what I was good. thinking. Close. <laughs> Close to what I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, I had a feeling. Every time you have a cleaning man, he just solves an equation on a chalkboard. And That's true. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, sees about a girl. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. 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 That's the issue with cleaning men. You can never hold on to them. Smart. They're all never have my equations up without being solved. They're all wi- wildly overqualified or underqualified. Yeah, uh, overqualified. Oh, overqualified. So handsome. Overqualified. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Air was good. I uh, saw air. I didn't see air. Everybody says it's good. Yeah, I like that in a movie. It is. Super Mario Brothers was good. No kidding. People were mad about that, right? Yeah, hearing a lot of movie. people say that. They're like, I took like kids it. to see it. It was it, it satisfied my needs. I watched Midnight Run last night. Have you guys ever seen that movie? From the 80s? From 1988. Yeah. It was, Matt Damon was like listing his four favorite movies, and he had Midnight Run on there. I was it's like, a good movie? What? It was pretty fucking good. So no It's kind of like Blues Brothers-y, like lots of just like kind of, it was, it's a comedy, lots of like chase scenes and shit like that. Where's it set? Uh, It's all over the, the United States. They're on the road. I guess that makes sense. It's fantastic. Run. Uh, I I gotta watch your sports your sports movie podcast, outside of the, just the clips that I see. It's a really good listen. Yeah, it really is. It's it, w- our third episode or our fourth. I don't fourth. know. Field of Dreams came out today. And Clummer never seen Hardball. Was never seen w- Hardball. And he kept on claiming mm. that he didn't see Hardball because it came out the week of nine eleven. And let me let me ask y'all. <laughs> it was like yeah, that's why I never saw it. Let me ask y'all what y'all do in this situation. So we we recorded last week Major League and Major League Back to the Minors. And it, the file disappeared. It got eight. It, we lost it. Lost it forever. It. Yeah. So having a Francis is me, girls. So we have to redo it. So when you redo something, because I know we've all probably had to redo something, do you try to hit the notes that you hit the first time, or do you just free ball completely new? You have to do a completely different thing. Don't even worry about trying to hit the this jokes. Used to happen in the old days with the rundown. Probably like once every couple months we'd fuck up and. Uh, we would try to redo it. We just quit. That's yeah, like never this, as good. Yeah. The whole time we'd be like, "Yeah, w- uh, well, we just taped it, and I said this funny thing." Yeah, but you can't make it funny again. Right. Yeah. 
the first 10 episodes of Anus were all scripted. That's crazy. We would write for like 20 minutes, and we were like, that wasn't a good one. Let's go again. Huh. Oh, yeah. I remember it did an yeah. Anus where we did like nine. Sh- nine, ten takes. Yeah. yeah. Jeez. Matthew McGorry episode. Matthew McGorry, long dead. Yeah. No. Did it? In, in more ways than one. Long guy. No. Was, was like, it got better when you stopped scripting. Way better. The show yeah. was like 15 minutes. We had pages, and we were just like, all right, let's read through it. And we were like, how long was that? An hour? And Owen was like, no, 15 minutes. <laughs> and so, yeah. Yeah, you can't do that. Oh. Ron, how was New Orleans? Oh, no, wait, you came back on Monday. Were you here on Monday? Uh, No, barely. Two, yeah, barely. It's for boy dad. How was New Orleans? Fucking awesome. Saw you in the swamp. New Orleans is such a... It's it's uh, maybe the best city in the United States. Oh. I don't count it as the United States. Agreed. It doesn't <laughs> feel like the United States. That's what makes so it so damn good. one place you can go abroad in the United States. Mm. And there's so much going on literally around every corner. Other cities that are destination cities like Nashville or Austin will have marquee streets like Broadway or 6th Street. But they don't have the walkability that New Orleans does where literally you'll turn a corner and there's shit from the 1700s untouched. It's a fucking awesome city. Very cool. Yeah. Oozing outside. Oh, yeah. Getting fucked up. Getting robbed. Taking dirty drugs. The morning shows. The morning shows. Going to get shit the invite for that yet? Bars. Not yet. No. Well, no. Yeah, I did. I just, I don't think I answered his text. Why? You hop on. You're not gonna go on wake up Mincy? Well, it's I'm rushing. I'm going to eventually. How the numbers been? Oh, good. Yeah. Great. He's crushing it. Five in a row. He's doing it here next week. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, we got to run next Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Run on Wednesday. I draft totally f- fucking next week. Holy oh, yeah. shit! About I forgot to be about Mincy's run. Here. It's about are to we, be packed in here. Are we set up for that? No. <laughs> Isn't that DJ? Just- the run? Yeah. Yeah. We're are set we, up for the run. Yeah, we got shirts coming. That's like Rome being excited. But where's he gonna do it? Same park. Did I did mine? Yeah. So we got. So we'll, the got same, we'll run to the same issue. Yeah. What he's gonna do another. 10K under 59 minutes. You realize, so whatever allowed you to cheat the system a little bit will be available to him? Didn't, didn't cheat, cheat the system. system. But yes, five laps is a mile. I mean, that'll be a way that we see if he cheats the system, if he, like, demolishes his time. I'm also willing to take 745 as an official time. I, I, I declared that, I think, last week. People want to give that to me. Bold of you and noble. Because there was, like, one guy who, who traced it, and it was, like, .19 was a lap. So it would have kept me 0.5 away from the dickhead that guy is. 0.05, so that's you know whatever. We'll just 15 have him run seconds it with a tracker on, and how it will wait till it hits 10k on the tracker. Yeah. You want him to wear a shaking computer? Should I go out and pace him for the first mile? Yeah. Well, next Wednesday is also the popcorn race. We're gonna oh. The show. Did 7:24? Yeah, but I'm I'm willing to take 7:45. I'll do I'll say, actual math. What's the you. popcorn race? 0.19. Was what they say the 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 inside of the track? Someone like did the Google image and it was point one nine. We all eat a movie bu- uh, sized bag of popcorn, and the last one to finish has to have a second bag of popcorn. Oh yes, okay, all right, all right. Kate, you're not going to Lay Barnard Dan. <laughs> Lay Barnard Dan. I don't think you're going after how you said it, brother. Yeah. Lay Barnard Dan. Did you update everyone on the the latest with it? The Donnie does. Oh yeah, Donnie so does, but. so everyone watched yesterday. Uh, boys trip to Lay Ben Arden. Uh, everyone sorry, but Kate. Kate. This yeah. was the wheel deciding. This wasn't us being misogynistic, but, but it worked know, and, out. And, and worked and out that Nick way. Reset. And yeah. now we can actually. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. she was still on the wheel when we reset. Yeah, we can. True. We can. I was trying to get KB to stay behind. <laughs> Thankfully, we can now at this lunch be men and talk about men stuff finally because um, yeah, we really do hold back when kate's around <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh but kate while we're doing that is going to go on a date with frank in this studio for Damn. the yak Damn. and dukes is the waiter um cory rutledge is going to produce and chef donnie has agreed to create a five course meal but every single course has some form of hot dog in it Oh, for Frank. Delightful. He said he thinks he can do hot dog ice cream. Somebody do hot dog tartare. Someone suggested on Twitter that it should be eight courses, and then the episode could be called Frank and Kate plus eight. Oh, oh my god! And it's okay, all eight done. hot dog course. He can do it. Yeah. He can do it. And, uh, yeah, he's gonna do. He said he's gonna make us hot dog soup. You might have won great. this, Kate. 
Yeah, I think she did too. I, a part of me believes that Donnie could make these things good. Not Landy Bernard Hancock. But also just no, really right. good content as no, well. No, yeah. Well, you say it again. I had a, I had Frank's so easy to yeah. talk to. Yeah, you'll, you'll crush. Uh, it's just always smooth convo. Yeah. Are you going to bring like awkward. a list He's of things? Chill. A list of things to talk about? Yeah. Yes. I'm oh, gonna, yeah. Kate's going to prepare. I'm going to script till... it like an anus episode. Yeah, I'm going to give him yeah. a script. Yeah, Actually, well. maybe I'll write us a date script. And oh. I'll do a, a scripted. A meet cute. Yeah. A meet cute. Maybe, actually, with Corey Rutledge, I feel like we could really make it a whole. Yeah, thing. I'm excited. Trying to script Frank the Tank. I know. Hey, don't let don't f- you script you. Yeah. Don't script Frank. <laughs> he can't be scripted. Yeah, you keep yeah. coming back to the script. At what point in the eight course meal will you bring up the Mets? That's a very important decision. When things start to fall apart, if I'm running out of, and I'm getting too awkward, I'll just say, and then I'll just let him go. So you first should, course. Yeah, probably first <laughs> well, course. You, you should have like break in case of emergency, just Mets trivia that you can <laughs> give them. Yeah. Just get them get them flowing. Yeah, I gotta get a list going, but I feel like this could actually be I'm glad. I'm glad. It's I'm glad. It's looking good. It's it's looking good. Hulk Hogan Pops fucking pops his sweater off. So yeah. disappointing that we're prob- we're wearing the same shirt now and you just <laughs> crushing it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not true. That is the same shirt. It's a little yeah. true. This is a smaller it's size. It's a posture. That's what it's supposed to look That's like. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> it actually bigger size. Form fitting. Did your shirt get bigger when he took his? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It's a defense mechanism. <laughs> <laughs> grow, grow my like shirt. Your clothes grow. I grow my shirt around hunks. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, uh, Brandon, sorry you missed the case race. It was the best one yet. That's what I heard. Four hours and thirty-eight minutes. And we could have gone longer. Yeah, we could have. We could have done the 12. There were many times where I was trying to kick everyone out just so I could play Celebrity Guesser until I got it. And everyone was like, no, we're staying with you. Did y'all get it? No. No. It's been it's impossible. Did ever recreate that moment? It's bothering me. Like I, We have to do it another time and then get it and then be done forever. That could be a thing you do on the uh, on the tank date. Oh, just do that. Celebrity just sit there. That's an easy thing. Yeah. You think that... Um, the case race was better because we didn't have any any guests or anything like that, and our um, you know relationships with each other are already established mm-hmm. as opposed to adding someone different to the group. I think yes, that, and I also do think doing slightly less beer, where people didn't cross, they didn't cross the territory of like not being able to speak. Mm-hmm. You know, like Hank did, yeah, Stephen close. did, but we had enough people still coherent enough to participate yeah we're in past case races it feels like once we're done like half of the show is just goes off a deep end yeah it's something about having a guest that kind of you want to like feature the guest yeah. energy changes yeah. it's just a little bit of a change of energy it's not a bad thing but when you add alcohol to the mix it just the dynamics just change was that the cowbell it was a cowbell it- you shut that cowbell up also, the stinky cloud made it. Oh my god! <laughs> the moment of you and me puking, where we were just making each other puke by. Yeah, that was so gross. It was so gross. I don't so really funny. even puke like that. Ugh. My puke sound was so bad. You were puking volume. It was. It sounded like someone who's drowning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If I was sitting, if I was laying on my side, I would have gone the way of Jimi Hendrix. My goodness, yeah. It's like yeah. a waterboarding. Oh, Are you talking about this pregnant? Zone vomit. He's like talking that. about this pregnant. Love it. Are you at that point of pregnancy where this is like you're sick? Ah, uh, yes. I thought that was oh. the whole yeah. time. But if I got through Stinky Cloud, I can As someone, no, that's incredible. That's let me play the role yeah. of Sass real quick. As someone who just stinks. puked last week, I know what you're doing. Yeah. I, actually, my puke was way worse than yours. It was. It, honestly, it was. I puked yeah. on Saturday, too. From what? Oh, I got a migraine. Oh, I was geez. in the sun for sun, a couple hours. Sunshine. Right. It's not really a Jesus Christ kind of situation. I mean, it's, I could have died. I mean, the sun. Sun won. Sun just Son beat me again. Kicks your ass. Went to the Mississippi State spring game. Shouldn't have. And uh, I was, I, I baked. Yeah. If you die of a migraine, we'll lie about it in the obit. Mm-hmm. We won't tell everybody. I think everybody will know. No. Yeah, Brandon, you, there's no. Know. What will they think? Well, yeah, I do have other maladies that could cause it. Cholesterol. Huh? It was cholesterol at five. Cholesterol. Mm. Uh, Take a cholesterol pill. Oh. No. Mm. Heart attack. Hey, I do. You DTB. do. Statin? Yeah, statin, yeah. Is that it? It's you need it, or is it? I have you're just showing off. Yeah. No, I have to take it. Oh, uh, I've, I've hereditary high cholesterol. Is it a ginger thing? 
Um, I don't think so. I have hereditary I mean, high cholesterol too. They say that the statin is, at least cardiologists say that it is one of the most impressive medical developments of the last 30 years. Does cardiologists say it? Uh, maybe others do too, but the they haven't changed huh. the technology of what it is, I don't think, since they came out with it 30 years ago. call it Because it works so well. Statin. Statin. We That's need it. to get that out in the, the forefront. Island. Science has been getting its ass kicked recently. I know. What, they're, uh, they're amazed by it. The other one that people don't talk about that is so amazing is the drug PrEP. What's I that? AIDS? Oh, yeah, the AIDS. Before. Right. Oh. It's a drug that uh, a lot of people in the gay community take, but others too, mm-hmm. uh, where if you take it, you basically cannot contract AIDS. That's incredible. Huh. Yeah. It's, I'm not saying like another one we got to talk about. Preventative cure for AIDS. And people, it didn't get, I don't know why we haven't like heralded it from the mountains or what I'm missing, but it's as if we came up with a cure for AIDS and nobody said anything. Huh. Wow. Yeah. I, we need to talk about it. All my gay friends are on it and they're like, yeah, I we see a lot of billboards for it. Safe. Really? On I 95. Yeah. Is it an eject- injection or a pill? I'm not sure. And does the statin make you feel different? No, the one major side effect that a lot of people, Dick. some people get is is Dick. Uh, ache and Dick. No, no, that's uh, my <laughs> Dick doesn't work. No, that the, the Dick problem. Uh, the Dick problem was, <laughs> the, was the hair loss medicine. Oh, uh, and uh, the joke I had was that I uh, I went on it, and uh, they said that you know there's only I, I, all of a sudden my my I was having a little bit of trouble with erections. Yeah. I want that. And um you want less erections? No, I want to have I mean I come so fast I want to have a chance. Oh, get on antidepressants. Yeah. Buddy. You'll yeah. never come. I need I was, that. I, was, I had to Stop splint it in with my huh? fingers. Yeah. I was splinting. Okay. Everyone's like, "Oh, yeah, you might it might be harder to eject. give me that pill." Yeah. But that ultimately my doctor after a bit he was like, "Well, this only affects 1% of the people who take it." And I was like, "Well, I guess that means there's a 99% chance I'm gay." what did that wait but how does statin make you feel different statin the side effect of uh, statin is uh muscle soreness like severe muscle soreness and and body pain and soreness forever or just a side effect i haven't i have not experienced it so i i think it affects some portion of the people who take it but not but not many but that is the suck interesting i get all kinds of side effects if there's one i'll get it body reacts weird to stuff yeah modern medicine is wild took a quarter of a melatonin gummy and I, it might as well have been fentanyl to me. <laughs> <laughs> Narcan <laughs> shot. I was freaking out. Uh, I get my kids melatonin sometimes. I do too. Or the older one. What? I do too. Yeah. Is he I'll still waking up at like four in the morning? And he's a sleepwalker. Yeah. He is? yeah. Yeah. So I gave him sleepwalking, which oh. sucks. Yeah. Oh, you he do just, it too? Oh, yeah. Oh. I've always been a sleepwalker. And it's, it would be cute if it wasn't sad, but he'll just wake up. Just do circles in his room, and then go back to bed. Was it your kid that got had like twelve melatonin gummies? Yeah, my seven year old uh, was just under the table, just uh, he had poured them out. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and I I called the poison relief line, and they said melatonin actually doesn't do anything. <laughs> Melatonin's fine. It's a, a placebo. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's really it, there's really nothing to it. So he had the whole bottle um, of of gummies, <laughs> ten milligram gummies. <laughs> He was fine. I mean, he slept good. Yeah. <laughs> you had some crazy Melatonin things. gummies are what's giving the fucking uh, prep pills a bad name. Yeah. Pills like that that don't do shit. And then it's like, well, probably nothing does does anything. Statins probably don't do shit. Yeah, but uh, melatonin feels like it's just a billion-dollar industry now. Like Everybody takes melatonin, but it doesn't is really. It, is Unisom the same? Pro- I don't know. I think Unisom. I think it's a little more oomph to it. But it's like I remember when CBD – like a oh, couple yeah. years ago, and I remember stopping at a coffee shop on the way to work, being like, "I'm gonna get a CBD infused coffee. I hope I'm not too fucked up for radio." <laughs> like I thought it was gonna like. Yeah, it does no. nothing. It did nothing. It did. Cebus. Yeah. Had no idea. Oh, you gave me a CBD thing one time, and I just remember thinking I'm gonna sleep good tonight. And then at 3 a.m., I was playing Madden and coming up with all kind of new strategies. <laughs> that wasn't CBD. What was it? Acid. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. 
No, I, I gave you. I've given you weed gummies, but you like throw them in the trash. My mom, my, packaging my, is so my wife, same thing. My wife gave. Uh, maybe, what? Huh? My wife made me throw throw them away. She wouldn't let me have them in the house. That's, That's probably smart. Again, I just told you the kid. Had, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Had right. Those gummies. Yeah. Those would actually fuck your kid up. We can't have anything in the house. Yeah, I got a question about sleepwalking. How do you, how do sleepwalkers see where they're going? So I have never been too dangerous. I've never like left my house. Usually what happens to me is I'll get up, I'll be angry about something or I'll be like very just like it's a ver- it's like a state of confusion where I'm sort of a, like I know that I'm confused and angry that I'm confused but I can't figure out why and I'll like either walk out of the room and then come back but I don't go far. Are your eyes open? I think so. Are you having conversations? Yeah, no, my, my my eyes must be open. Yeah, because you're walking I do, out of the room. Cuz then I'll wake up and I'll have a very vague like it won't I won't know what happened but I'll have like a something happened like something definitely happened I've been I haven't for a while What's but it feel like it's 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 as frustrating as frustrating could be because it's like like you'll think something's happening and you'll be like trying to solve a problem but you'll be asleep uh. so you'd be like oh like why is that there and it's like my wife would be like what are you talking about how can you beat it? You just does someone just tell you to go back to sleep and you fall back asleep and you wake up and I don't I don't know I me personally it happens when I'm like very overtired <coughs> so just getting enough sleep that it doesn't happen but yeah it will happen if I'm like completely run down and then I'll just lose my mind so yeah my son has the same thing it sucks for him lucky guy yeah. A guy, a comedian, uh, Mike Birbiglia, had it in a in a way that was almost like life threatening. That remember White Sox Dave when he slept walk like in the streets of New York? What? Yeah. He was just drunk. Wasn't there a theory that he was just very drunk? Oh, he might have been very <laughs> drunk. But what what was the Mike Birbiglia? Because well, there would, are he like he would very, walk out. He yeah. would walk out like third floor windows. He would he would burst through the glass of a of a window Jeez. and Holy land shit. in the bushes and wake up and be like, what the fuck happened? And so he had to start sleeping. With in a sleeping bag that would be zipped all the way up to his chin, yep. and then wear mittens over his hands so that he couldn't unzip himself. Jeez. Out of what the if there's bag. a fire? He slept like that. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm lucky that I, I never, I never. Yeah, I've never. Legend. I've gone downstairs before. Mighty Mouse. Mighty uh, Mouse legend. But I've never. Uh, I've never gone outside. A lot of times it's just like, I'll like move something in my room. I'll get up, move something, and then go back to bed. I would think that it's from you just, like, being tired and, like, having to get up every day and having to get up every day, but if you're passed it down hereditary... I think it might... I mean... To your son, maybe it's... Yeah, I, I don't know if it's a hereditary thing, but it, it's crazy because we looked it up, and it, it is... Sleepwalking does show up right around the fourth birthday. So... And it's almost clockwork. It's two hours after he goes to bed. <laughs> Sucks for him. He's going to have to figure it out. Son's four already? Yeah. Get him the sleeping Crazy. bag in the mittens. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. There is a, a little kit. I saw there was, I was looking online. There's like a, it's like a sheet that you like zip them up. Hmm. They're like attached to the bed. I don't think <laughs> I'm going to do that until he does something. Real crazy. Least, yeah. yeah. No, I didn't get my sheet until I was like five. Oh. Different. Nice. I'm, I'm fist bumping the joke, not the idea of it. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. I'll never be Barstool Beast with that attitude. <laughs> you guys seen that? That was Barstool oh, Beast. Something about Barstool Beast? It's Barstool Beast. <laughs> you guys won't be Barstool Beast either. <laughs> yeah, this email we got. We have an employee of the month. Four people, I think. What the fuck? Good Lord. What? Wait, is this All right, up? hold on a second. Brandon, do the NASCAR read. I got it. 500 gotta, bucks. We got to... Mm-hmm. This is... Do the NASCAR read. <laughs> well, as soon as I find it, uh, I know this weekend NASCAR's in Talladega, mm-hmm. uh, 3 p.m. Eastern on Fox. NASCAR is at the Geico 500, I believe. Um, I don't have a read. But NASCAR is in Talladega this weekend. Talladega is a super speedway, and it is among the uh, best tracks in NASCAR. 3 p.m. Eastern. Tracks. 3 p.m. Eastern on Fox. I've already nailed it, and I didn't even need the damn read. Chase Elliott, second race back. Chase Elliott. Yes. And they've also got, they're going to have a street race in Chicago on July 2nd. Said that yesterday. Yes. Are you going to be moved in by then? I think so. June 19th is my closing day, so I'll be able to go to the street race. 
you got to get to that street race. There's a lot of uh, Barstool people going to this race. I know Spider, um, Alex Bennett, Mean Girls. You've been to Talladega, haven't you? It's the it was the most fun. I would say if you have like a bachelor or bachelorette party, and you want to do it like that's the one you have to go I'll, to. Uh, you know, Daytona's their most Super Bowl, but happened. I would say as far as tracks and environments go, Talladega is probably the best in NASCAR. But you know, Bristol's good, but Talladega is probably the very best in all of NASCAR. This yeah. this Sunday, April 23rd, 3 p.m. Eastern on Fox. Check them out. So much fun. Nick's about to collect barstool beast jackets like rough. Yeah, wait. Hey, all right, so now I right, I needed a second because you're gonna wear them all at once. At once. I didn't want to overreact, but let me now overreact. You so, want to overreact to barstool beast? All right. So this is an email we got. I think so. Okay. We just had like a big meeting, and this was part of the meeting. Okay. I think so Riggs tweeted this it was out. Was a meeting? Yeah. All right. So for people who are listening on the podcast, it's a jacket, and it says recognition on the top. Barstool Beast Recognition Program each month. Barstool Beast will recognize four Barstool employees who have truly delivered above and beyond from different areas of the business. Any employee can nominate someone who they felt has truly raised the bar and over-delivered via Google Form and provide the details as to what the person should be recognized, why the person should be recognized. Winners will be vetted by department heads, the people, team, and executive leadership before announcing. In addition to bragging rights, each winner will receive custom Barstool Beast jacket, $500. I love this. What the fuck? I, I like oh, this. Logo guy, I got it. Not gonna lie, I I want that coat and I want that five hundred. I'm go. I'm competing against you. Directly. What do you think about the logo? <laughs> I think it looks like Big Black's logo. Satanic. It's oh. satanic. It's you guys like satanic. this? I think it's employee of the month with with a, a sizable amount of money on the side. It's not a bad incentive. Yeah, I like the five hundred bucks. I wish the jacket was a little like lighter and more. All right, Francis. I would wear it. Sorry, maybe I'm all right. So maybe two hundred bucks to, uh, to nominate you. Two hundred bucks to nominate you. I believe you. the Riggs tweet f- with this it would was, cost "Are you, you fucking win. kidding?" Yeah. If I win, I have to give you two hundred dollars. If you win forty percent of the winnings, if I'm I nominate. Yeah, sure. I'll, it, but <laughs> you, you, I'd have to win. Yeah, it, only if you win. Yeah, hundred. I nom- I'm going to write you a glowing endorsement. I will happily, dude. You three hundred bucks in a cool hoodie. Hell yeah. Yeah. What's wrong with that? Huh. I, I wish I were in a position to think this wasn't cool. Nick, 200 bucks if I know. This is insane. Win. 100. Am I? Done. Am I on an island? Like if you're what? No, I'm with you. If what's you're wearing, wrong with it? If you're wearing that out, somebody's like, where'd you get that hoodie? Oh, uh. It's not even a hoodie. Above and it's beyond like a last year, Dickies last week. Jacket. It's like a Dickies Dickies jacket. the same Dickie's jacket out there, but it doesn't have my last name on it, and it certainly doesn't say Barstool Beast. That's earned. <laughs> I can't tell if you guys are doing this as a bit right no, now. Not at all. <laughs> I'm not. I am. I would like okay, to. Okay, thank you, Ro. That's for my sanity's sake. That is. These are the moments that, like, if I could have a time machine and I went back 10 years, I was like, Dave, what do you think about doing a jacket for the best blogger a month and how quickly he would laugh at me and kick me out? What is. This is. Dry. What is this company? You know what it, you know what it I is? I need me to work harder. Here's the thing, big Is cat. it? This is it. We we, we don't <laughs> we don't too. get we don't get feedback, right? I have no idea. That's the beauty of if this I'm place. on the verge of being let go or shut the raised. fuck up. Oh no, no well, I, I already has been let go once. <laughs> uh, oh, 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 you know, I, right now I don't know how it's going. <laughs> do do you know what the feedback is? You think that that coat- that hoodie would be a layer of armor against that? Oh, they can't fire me. I got a coat. I got the it's just my own insecurity. You don't fire the beast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you can't what fire the beast. Is? <laughs> what numbers? <laughs> numbers are feedback. I know, and my what? numbers haven't been. I've been disappointed. You, had the you just want other feedback. <laughs> well, I think the, the beast. <laughs> I think if you had the beast jacket in July of 2019, it never happens. Everybody watches the beast. I do agree with that. <laughs> Everybody watches that. the beast. The beast does have an air of untouchability. Yeah. Like that is. You're right on that part. Yeah. Fuck it. I'll. I'll People retweet no. the beast. Oh, no, you can't go that quickly. The beast gets. Well, if everyone's react. gonna be in on it, I'm gonna try to fucking win the beast. Yeah. I want the beast. Yeah, I kind yeah. of want the, kind of Fuck want the it. beast. Fuck it. There you My go. My inner competitor will come oh, out and be like, I'm going to beast this man. Who is not? Someone has it's, to nominate you. It's going to matter. It's going to matter. If you start if you start vying for the beast, then it matters. Let's all nominate each other for the beast. This is a fucking stable of the most egotistical humans on the planet. Yes, No yes. one's fucking nominating anybody else. Oh, oh it is a great You said you would. You just, you promised me. For money. Fine. Wait, wait, wait. I wait. Don't why don't we, why beast? don't we ballot <laughs> stuff for someone? Right, one month. That would be time. a lot better. Yeah, but then we'll all just wind up putting ourselves and. No, like, no, no. Let's balance. No, we should every month the Yak should come up with somebody to nominate, right? Yeah. And we should have some sort of. 
All right, so the I wheel decides. I want a jacket the ceremony. Wheel I want to see Tico Texas go 12 months in a row with this thing. I don't think so. No, but it's going to be 12 jackets. She not work. She 12 works. jackets. <laughs> and it's always the same jacket. Spin it. Who's going to be the first? Who's our beast? <laughs> Who's our champion? I want it. I want it. I Nominate. Want it. Big fucking wheel. Big O. Oh. It's almost me. Quigs. Uh, Quigs. All right. Quigs is getting easy. our beast. Congratulations, guy. beast. Congratulations, Congratulations Quigs. If you don't win, it's rigged. Four, no, there's four though. Yeah, but we're gonna we're gonna balance stuff. For, for we're gonna put department. all of our weight behind okay. Quigs. Oh, one for what are the department? Four departments. Yeah, right. Oh, do we have four departments? HR. You know Sales. way more about this company than Sales. me. What are the four Sales. departments? HR is a whole uh, department. Oh, no, is it? There's right? like 15 HR department. people now. Ooh. What? Oh, there's definitely more than I four departments. The people team. Well, why they keep yeah, we had a party. Like we that. had a golf party upstairs. Mm. All right. Oh, so that's so it's probably someone got hired to do this program. That's like what the little golf party was. That's what this. I think there's somebody who's like. I also up. think this is one of those things that if they kept it just to the third floor, it's good because there is like the third floor is a real office. You know what I mean? Like people come in, they do a great job. They work from nine to five or you know longer than that. But mm. this world down here, you had to know we were going to mock the beast. Right? You can't mock the beast. Uh, the Rick's be already mocked the beast. You guys don't understand the beast. Yeah, I think the beast is going to come around. I think people, the beast is going to grow on people. I want to win the beast now. There you go. Yes. If, if you guys are taking it serious, I'm taking it serious. Now I want Riggs to win it after all his mockery. And he'd be forced to wear it. We'll parade Have to him wear around. The jacket. Oh, yeah. I think we, we should call go the Scottsdale the Heat. Why not just employee of the month? Huh. <laughs> yeah. No. Have a plaque everything. up. It would be funnier to have a plaque up like a fast yeah. food restaurant. Yeah. yeah. But I think there should also be, I think the bigger motivator for me would be shame. I think if there was like a bar stool loser or a, a wall of. Whoever wear, wins the jacket, is is that person going to wear the jacket every day that month? I have to. I would. But like the thing is like, is it going to have the month on it? Like let's say Francis, if you win the beast of, in July mm. and then I win the beast in August, I'm not letting you wear the jet. Like you're not wearing your. Oh, jacket. it can be like the Stanley Cup. Or passing it along. Oh, we could, that's a good idea. Although it would be tough because there are some morbidly obese people here. Yeah. Who would not? It would not fit. No, I would. Right that would here. fit me like a sarcophagus. Yeah. <laughs> no. Brandon, you know, I don't know that you and I could wear the same beast. Because you right. eat Chick Fil A every we day. We get an. We got an email about feast. this. I think it was yeah, like um. Uh, uh, was it a meeting? I just saw the Riggs tweet. I had the noties on. Yeah, it was an amusing. I think Frank should win as well. Yeah. DJ, what happened in this meeting? Uh, I was introducing some new C-suite people and talking about quarter one recap, and then this was the end of the meeting. How are we doing? Beast. Really good. Oh, great. How oh, good. Whew. I have a confession. I, I When my phone broke two weeks ago, I f forgot my password for my Barstool email, and I just haven't logged in. You're fine. I've only wait, missed wait, two a meetings. Thing. There's a new thing. A one login? One login is a yeah, thing. Yeah, I though. missed two meetings. They were like, why didn't you come? I was like, well, because I didn't log in. I, I think I might just live without it. You, know you won't ever get a beast jacket. I'll tell you that. I, I, I'm logging back in. <laughs> okay. I don't know if I missed all of this because I just came in at a weird time of the year, but um, a lot of these HR and people department things – uh, I've learned after the fact we have some incredible incentives and things available to us that I just no one ever told me about. Like what? what? Like what? Like 401k matching, and you know, paternity leave and yeah, paternity leave. Oh yeah. yeah. How much? I think yeah, it's like GBT producer three months gone for for two years. I think yeah. it's like eight weeks. Yep. Substantial. Pretty good. I'm going to go weeks. knock some bitch up. I didn't take a day. Yeah, I already did. But yeah, imagine Nick Cannon's paternity leave from Wilding Out. <laughs> Chilling. Mm -hmm. Just what off else? all year. Didn't he Uber offer to credits? date Taylor Swift? Do you know about the Uber Eats credit? Oh, oh yeah. $80. Oh, buddy. You don't know about this? This is awesome. I use it. I don't. I have never money. logged into anything. We have oh, $80 shit. a month of Uber Eats. $80 yep. a month. And I just save it for one big dinner and yep. go nuts. End of, End of the month. End of the month. You guys got to understand something. The, the, like, uh, 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 probably 50% of the reason why I would never leave this company is I've been grandfathered into everything where I've never logged into anything. And I have a company card that no one's ever asked me any questions about ever. <laughs> I'll never give that up. You already get you get Uber Eats. Yeah, I, yeah, I get whatever yeah. I want. You're good. Like, I, do you get do you get the points from that card? No, I don't think so. Oh, really? But actually, maybe because I've never logged in. 
Oh, you should see. I bet it's a lot. I don't log into things. If it's an Amex, Dave has those bitches. Why would anybody ever want to leave? Ever. Ever. No, they, I got we, no we, we daycare credits. Sometimes you get time. Really? They, and gym. Where they Money for the gym. You do? I mean, well, you have to go 90 days. I didn't. Enough is enough for everybody. That. <laughs> Everybody's got limits. Imagine being like Everybody all these things. So Uber Eats, 401k, d- daycare, all this okay. stuff. You're like, one, I'm going to quit. One tweet. I'm going like, to quit. Hey, have you seen yeah, the, the mother's tweet. room upstairs? No. That is a Shut up. nice room. Shut up. Yeah. Buddy, I, I meant to ask room. you. You're going to have to put a pump room in What Chicago. are you talking about? Oh, there's, there's a, there's pumping a room mother's upstairs. room upstairs for, for, for a lactate. Yeah, the there. pumping room is uh, called the Yak Studio. It has, it oh, has God. three. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants that. I, I might have all 15 Nobody HR guys. That. Everyone. <laughs> <That> one. <laughs> he said what? You could ring the cowbell every time we're going to milk you. <laughs> 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 Well, we'll have a segment on the yak. Yeah. We'll sell it. Yeah, we'll spin to see who gets the milk. <laughs> Mix it in with a busker's whiskey. Oh. <laughs> oh, Maybe right oh, to yeah. sleep. I didn't. I I need someone to sit me down and give me like orientation for this. Company. I know there yeah. are some treats here. This place is has treasures, but you got to find out about them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How many people? There must be like when they when they unroll or you know like roll out all these different treats. Are like well. 50% of the company won't ever do this, so yeah. we can, we well, can afford this. I think that's what a lot of companies bank on, and I think that's what a lot of credit card companies bank on, is that you're not going to actually take advantage of a lot of the offers and right. benefits. And that's because how they make money. Paperwork sucks. Whenever I have a month where I don't feel like I did my best, I never fill out my reimbursements for stuff. I'm like, no, I need to pay for this myself. What's what's I the reimbursement situation? Myself. It's the whole concur the thing. Yeah, like concur you stuff. Do? You can't do uh you can't you could do like one drink at dinner now. That's was the big change. People you could just go get booze. Wait, what what do you do if you have a content trip and you have expenses like fl- you know you upload it somewhere? Yeah, yeah, you, you upload take pictures it. of receipts. If you, if you take you Ubers a, after a certain time. If you have a company or... card, I'm assuming that I, I think you're in a sort of special silo of your own where you all of this everything you do is covered by the company. I've never I've never which is pretty sick. It used to be just we would literally. Hank once I think wrote on like the back of a napkin like a bunch of numbers. So it was like Dave. <laughs> Dave was like, "What do you want me to do with this? Do you have any receipts?" He's like, "No." Yeah. Fuck! I need orientation. Isn't it's it cool? Can, I'm happy that Barcel's doing this shit. If you're working, if you're in the office after six, you can reimburse food that you get sent to the office. Is that right? I that's, think so. That's a lot of companies do what that. We call those hours. Those uh, are Viva, Viva hours. hours. Viva. Oh. Yeah, I have to do a. We're. Ju- I can't remember what it came up the other day, but I have to. I, th- I would imagine there's like ten people who probably have my card on their Uber. <laughs> wow, I have a fleet. <laughs> probably not great. Do you have a TJ? On Uber Eats, but I don't use. It I once had a coworker's card on my Uber. I have no idea where. Like, they. I'm sure if they look at the expense report, like there would probably be days where there's like. On travel days, when we all like land somewhere and have to go home, like ten Ubers. <laughs> well, I'd like to have a, a tangle with someone. Someone come up, maybe maybe TJ, can you set that up? Just like it doesn't even have to be real. An orientation? Just, no, 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 no. Someone, someone come down from the third floor and be like, "Hey, you, you can't be charging this." Just what if you little, fuck around uh, and get somebody that's going to be the beast that month? They're not going to take your shit. It's true. If they have the beast jacket, there should be there should be one sort of benefit to having the beast jacket. I don't I don't know what it would be. Like uh, you get some sort of special dispensation. Oh well, oh, you know what would actually see this is why they got to include us. I would think it would be a great reward if they had the beast jacket, and only beast jackets could use the solo bathroom. Yes, yes. Yeah. that's now that's an incentive people that's would get incentive. behind. That's yep. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. Give him a key to a solo bathroom. Yeah, you don't even have to give a jacket. Yeah, no, that would just a key card. Or I'm gonna talk to pay. them upstairs and see if we can get. Or, or they get, or they get a uh, first pick of Bagel Monday or first run at the snack closet when it's had a restock. Yep, things like that. Bagel Monday gets. I I never. I always get the very end of bagel. Yeah, I get Monday. the sesame seeds. I get yeah. the, the warm. Those are the worst bagels? No, I just, I just get the oh, seeds. You got to get here early for the cream Bottom. cheese. We do Bagel Friday? Oh, the cr- yeah, bagel Monday yeah. crazy. Bagel Friday is not as competitive as Bagel Monday. No, th- there's usually a lot of leftovers. You could take home a big bag of bagels. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
I do wonder how they ended up on Bagel Monday and Bagel Friday. It was a debate on the rundown. Why not just do uh, every day? Oh, it was a debate on the rundown. When we moved to New York, Dave was talking about how it's going to be like all hunky-dory, and he was like, I'm going to get bagels for everyone, and Kevin and I were like, we're never going to eat your fucking bagels. Fuck you. <laughs> just, you know, classic rundown stuff. Hmm. I'm sure and KFC will like Cut that out of the rundown, or do they keep it in? I don't know why that got cut out, because we talked about it. Yeah. I think it was because it was, we might have, I might have misunderstood, because we did, Kevin was not on. So y'all were just talking. No, it ended. Yeah. Right, so it might have just ended recording. Oh, okay. It's like, we, I stood up and was walking out when Dave was like, hey, did you hear about Brandon trying to quit? Yeah. It was basically everything we said on the yak, so it's not. This awesome. box is merch and not sausage. Give me that hat. I want to, those hats. It was three crazy. boxes of merch. But. It does smell like sausage. So empty it out. There has to be some. Oh hell yeah! I want the sausage to be one long, like fifteen oh, like, foot. Oh, like when yeah. they suck it up. Yep. And, yeah. Yep. I want it to be one real long sausage. I've always wanted that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Those are great. Country please. Oh, does anyone ever give Country you shit about expenses? Come on now. Uh, one time, and then, it, yeah, this hat smells like Emma? sausage. They like, oh, yeah, hell yeah. yeah, sure. They like kind of sent me like, uh, they're like, this is all the expenses, but then it's like. I, I welcomed another meeting because it was like I was traveling my dick off. You were going to take him to arbitration? I was going to be like, there, which which Spence do you take umbrage with? And I, like every every one of them I, like is is like me having to travel for work. Like they're, right. I, I'm not like uh, like a steakhouse like fucking go crazy like type of guy. Like right. it's I think every every dinner. It, oh, my God. He smells like meat. What are you going like to say, Chad? I don't know if I want it on my head right now. Hey, what were you going to say? Hey, Mossy Oak. That's uh, that, that started in your hometown. Say what's not appropriate. That and Haas uh, Outdoor <laughs> started in your hometown. Uh, is it the same thing? No, okay. Outdoor is okay. Steven, what were you going to say? I did my research. Um, <laughs> a really long time ago, there was an employee that worked here that submitted his expenses, months of expenses, very late at night. And the person that was in control of approving denied them all. There was a lot of money. <laughs> so there's an email saying that the employee that submitted the expense would fight the other. <laughs> the, and I it, forgot this. It came to a head, and uh, they had to be separated, like in a, on the second floor. Oh, my Shit. God, dude. It was, it was hilarious. <laughs> I who, mean, I can, based on everything okay, you just so said, I, know, I already feel like I know who the... Resnick <laughs> is one of them. Yeah. And like and Lewis. Lewis. That's the guy yeah. you hated? <laughs> Lewis, uh, <laughs> has to be Lewis. That's hilarious. Yeah, you fucking hate so him? so funny. What? No, Che you fucking hate him, hates right? him. Yeah. So whose Which side were you on guy? in that rumble? <laughs> Lewis. <laughs> Not a company man, huh? I, I need orientation. Actually, you know what? I don't want orientation. I don't want to... I don't want that. They have these every month, the lunch and learns. That's what, the, that's what these things are. That's what it is? Lunch yeah. and learn, yeah. It's like you're meeting a new department, and they're telling you what they do. And, like, I think uh, HR, the people group had a thing last month, and they were telling us about all these benefits. Like, that's what it is. They so you, you go to these? I, uh, no, but... It they, sounds they, like you went to one. Do I, you I go ha- to these, I, Francis? I have, I have gotten to one. I actually accidentally was seated in one. Uh, a lunch and learn? Couldn't leave. You went to go get free lunch? Yeah, I went to yeah, get the lunch. I always get the free lunch, and then I... And I sat yeah. down, and I was in that big meeting room up there, and then it was on... It was broadcast to the whole company, so I felt... How many people go to these? I think a lot. A lot. They usually have some pretty good food. Just some sausage. Always good. I this think, is, I think people this on this floor my mind. just go to get the food, Yep. but it's really they order food so you can go get it and then attend a meeting. To trap food, bait. Oh, food. it's yeah, it's bait food. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bait. Yeah. bait. <laughs> it's literally, it's, it's quite bait. literally bait. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm surprised as a fatter shark, I've never gotten, I've never taken the bait. I went. It does to the first sound one. like something I would All do. The food's upstairs though, so yeah. you have to go up. Up the yeah. stairs, but that is, I don't know why I've never like moseyed on up to get the. But they need to drop food. the food downstairs like a yeah. fishing line. No, but then we can all scurry back to our. The, we need to go into the trap. Right, but if they just dropped it down the stairs and we followed it up. Can we just have a uh, like alliance in here that if anyone gets caught by the bait, they let everyone know? Mm-hmm. I think we hey, should there was, can, there they, was can they just come in here and just t- tell us on the show while we, you know what I mean? Yeah, what I'm saying, like, if you this, if you get baited, t- like, send me a text and be like, hey, just so you know, there's a hook on the end of that food bait. upstairs. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, I yeah. thought you wanted to know what the benefits were. No, no, I don't want I don't want to be baited. You can go get the food and not and not have anything to do with the rest of it. 
Oh. I feel like we should sign up to tell the rest of the company what the act does. That everyone's got their lunch. We tell them what a stinky cloud is. Oh yeah. yeah. Lunch and learn. Um, so every department has those, like the putt putt one, the goats upstairs. Goats were awesome. So that w- yeah. I forget whose department that was. The most recent one was the putt putt course. People liked the putt putt. Yes. Everyone ripped Wait, it. There was a putt putt course upstairs. upstairs. Yeah. Remember that was the party that fights was like. Well, there was what a the bunch of goats upstairs too. Everyone Little baby goats. It. Remember the goats. Goats were awesome. Yeah. yeah. Quietly, <laughs> I don't know. It. There were two so, goats. It says something. This, this place has quietly become a phenomenal place. To <laughs> I, I'm happy about that. It I just, really is. Um, <laughs> but it's I'm, content's turn. It's the content department that's hosting the next one of those, and me, is and, it? To- me and Tommy are hosting. <laughs> that is something you would. Is do. that true? What are you teaching? Got you. You. Really? Someone walked up. Was like Nick. We need you to host a lunch and learning. I was just about yeah. to ask if I could host it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You probably get to pick the food. I I pick the theme and the food. Ooh. What did you pick? I can't tell you. It's all surprise. For I'm doing a video. Oh. Is it West African? The food? Uh, <laughs> Should be. <laughs> it is now. Yeah. yeah. Hope peanut you guys butter and fish, it, yeah, peanut butter and fish. Asked if we could do a remote. And they said no. They said no. Mm. I'm happy that this is a good place to work. It's really good. Shocked. Yeah. Uh, the, the benefits, everything, it just, it, it became almost like a, a tech company. One of those places, when I, so before before I worked here in that interim period, uh, I used to go to Spotify headquarters sometimes to record podcasts. And they were, it's in, it's in the Freedom Tower. And it's on like the hundredth floor. And you ride up one of these glistening light speed elevators there's no buttons they just press where you're going and you go and you get out and it opens up and there it's it's a gigantic panorama all the way around of you know the hudson river the east river lower manhattan statue of liberty and then they have a snack area that i i mean might as well be a a bomb shelter for post-apocalyptic you know storage people Mm. has everything you could ever want for free there's no charges for anything. And then they have a full-blown coffee shop. Really? It's free with a full-blown barista, everything in there that you can go get your coffees at. Spotify also does a wellness week where they don't let anyone release podcasts. Jeez. Oh, wow. And that's a good model to follow. Like, tech One companies week don't lay anybody <laughs> off. They d- it's, they're right, always it always sound. Well. Yeah, this is, I'm glad this is happening. Yeah. <laughs> well, all of this is to say that uh, we are that. adding things like that that are really nice. It's cool. Our He's trying are, to be the beast so goddamn bad. He's trying to be the beast <laughs> so bad. His his campaign has begun. Go, go not work, work here for luck. three years, and you will see Try how not. nice it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, let us. Huh. <laughs> Should log in sometime. <laughs> yeah, is Zenefits? Is that what it's called? Yeah. Not anymore. Yeah, Zenefits is. Uh, yeah, you can. Yeah, you know who's super on. helpful with all that shit? Enrique. 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 Yeah. He'll help you. He'll lead you or like. Re- do I want to know though? Tell my me house. the honest truth. Do I want to? know? It makes it so easy that if you do, if you need to know tax stuff, like yeah. log into this or that, like he'll just be like, he you want to do some charity life. shit? Did he f- do it for you? I did everything I needed. Yeah, Enrique's yeah, the, he's man. the best. You know, they'll they'll mail your stuff here too. If you have stuff you need to mail out in a package, you just bring it here and they send it. What? Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. Your returns. I've been doing all my rent the runway from here. Yeah. Send it all back. Huh? Rent the oh, runway. Oh. You do a lot of rent the runway? <laughs> oh, I think <laughs> that's women. I think. I right? think yeah. 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 Is it for the fellas? Oh, I don't know. They might. I want. That, that was Tom's store on uh, Parks and Rec, right? Yeah. Rent a swag. I didn't make that up. Mark. No, no, no. I'm okay. starting to realize, too, there's a good chance my wife knows all about all of this stuff, and she has my passwords. Because, <laughs> like, ta- when you say tax stuff, like, how did I get that? Right. It's like you must Someone have must have gotten it. that. Must have got it somehow. <laughs> Do your well, taxes? You read the... I think. Okay. Tax day happened. I, I, I do the extension every year. Got to do the extension. Got to do the extension. Crazy not to do the extension. I had a, I had a decent opportunity to write off my honeymoon. What? I was trying. And you didn't? I, the guy was like, look. You should have asked me for the card. I was just giving you the card. The, let me let me tell you. Let me present why there was a, an opportunity. One, uh, I wrote blogs about it. Mm-hmm. Two, I talked about it thoroughly on our podcast. Or based on your And honeymoon. three, I developed a ton of stand-up material out of it. Those, this is That's my work. So you didn't do it? 
No, he was like, did you go on the honeymoon for work? Ah, mm. that's was, a tough question. No. And he's like, all right, well, then we can't. Well, how, can you just repurpose your... You know what I mean? Like, can you just oh, be like, the next trip I'm going on, I'm going to do this. I'm going to take my wife, but I'm really going to, like, pr- like write a couple blogs and really work on some stand-up stuff. I think in theory. It, it all just comes down to, are you willing to lock horns with the IRS if they were to audit you? How strong would your case be? Do you Always. feel like you could look them in the eye and, and win yeah. in court or whatever? I don't know if it even goes to court, but... Yeah, they just fucking decide over there. They're just like, no, you actually do owe this, so shut the fuck up. It's kind of like that big dog shirt. The IRS, theirs. Theirs. Take the space away. Brandon, there's nothing in there that's that's perishable right now. I'm gonna. Just give me some of that dry rub, man. Also, it's all frozen. It's frozen. Frozen? Toss me a dry rub, man. Oh, it does. Well, I'm taking the dry rub. Yeah, it smells real meaty. I'll just open it. I'll give it back to you. I just want a red wine steak seasoning. Pork. I just want a little lick of it. Is that a rub? That's a rub, right? I just want a little look at the rub. <laughs> rub is smell, the Do you want to smell the sauce? Kind of. I get the sauce going for you. I like going to a barbecue place, and before you, your food gets there, you put all the sauces on like a paper towel. And the hat smells it. like sausage. Oh, yeah, that's a good move. You know what I mean? That hat might be made Fry of all the sausage. Oh, I want that blue hat. Which one? Yeah. Which one? The rope. Yeah. yeah the rope. That's a come up. Rowan ropes. Uh, Rowan, you want to hit that high noon ad? Of course I do, brother. High noon. Nice hat. You know what? I don't even need the rest of the copy. High noon. Vodka seltzer. Real juice. Real vodka. No malt. And man, is it delicious. It's getting hotter outside. That means that you need to treat yourself to a little bit of outside time. And outside time, to me, synonymous with high noon time. And of course, you can get a regular size can, but why not give yourself a shot at those big cans? I'm talking about the 700 milliliter ones. I prefer to get the pineapple in that one. I get the pineapple in the small size too, but I don't discriminate because there's so many dang flavors of this high noon. I'm talking about black cherry, watermelon, pomegranate, kiwi, we, the tailgate pack. We had the pool pack that we ordered off of Drizzly down in New Orleans. They bring it right to your door, and you're enjoying. It's ice cold. It's the dead of summer. It's so dang enjoyable to have a little bit of high noon by your side, and you can get yours at you know Drizzly. You get it at, at High Noon's website, or you can go to your local liquor store. If you're in a state that has liquor stores, why not go to a local liquor store and get some high noon for you and your friends? Today. That was a great read. What, is it over? I I talk? Okay. What states don't have liquor stores? I think uh, like New York doesn't have like a, uh, or maybe I was thinking of state stores, mm. but you know how Pen- Pennsylvania and New Jersey have very specific laws on where you can yes. buy beer, beer on you Sunday. To to like Utah, you can't awesome. buy, you can't buy beers on Sundays. So you just, uh, in Ohio, Brandon, you have something on the end of your nose. Don't know. It's barbecue in sauce. Madison, ah. maybe all of Wisconsin. Uh, I think the, Last time you could buy booze is like 9 p.m., which sucks. You, can, uh, you can't buy liquor in grocery stores in Ohio. So you, there's like an attached liquor store. At PA as well? Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. In PA, you can buy. I remember I went to a liquor store in the grocery store, and I was buying a bunch of stuff for a party, but they would only let you buy so much at a time. And she was like, so long as you go 100 feet away and around that pillar over there and come back, you can get back in line and buy more. So I kept having to buy a That's certain amount. Be the go around the pillar, come it. back Other around. Other people doing it? D- yeah, it was like <laughs> oh, a thing. Yeah. Is this your sign for the, going to the grocery store? Grocery store. That's, that's, a, that's a buggy. I oh, know, but... <laughs> Those laws make no sense. Yeah. No. In, uh, in Iceland, um, in Reykjavik, they have... Yeah. Just quick. Jesus it's a good story quick. about PA and... You know what? You're right. I, uh, <laughs> no, no, go ahead. Go I ahead. changed my mind. Oh, that's... <laughs> no. no, listen. That seat is allowed to one-up stories. Yeah, that is the seat. <laughs> <laughs> well, also, he's going to Iceland soon. Yeah. yeah. Wait, so well, tell me. I, do, up, I actually am curious about behalf? Iceland's laws. I'm sorry? Yeah. What was that? Go ahead. Oh, you had a question. No, I, I said you're one-upping us on his behalf now. I don't think I was trying to one-up anyone. I was I was tagging. Yeah. Was piggybacking. Tag it back in. I want to hear the Iceland law. Basically, in the summer, I went by myself once on a soul-searching mission, and it, uh, you experienced Did you the, find it? A little bit. Uh, yeah. Wait, wait, finish that, and then I want to hear the soul-searching. Uh, so, you want to hear both? Yes. 
well, we'll see if my story one ups my story. Ooh. Oh. oh. Uh, but the midnight sun, you spy know, spy versus spy. It, it, it never it never gets dark fully, and um, sounds e- great. Even at like two or three in the morning, the sun has set below the horizon, but it's still s- nice and glowy. So it's it's surreal, and uh, people come into the city of Reykjavik, which is where like eighty five ninety percent of the entire country's population lives. And a lot of young people come into the city for the weekend, stay at friends' apartments. They go out Friday night, and then they stay up all night partying. And then on Saturday, they'll just go to the beach straight from the party and kind of like doze on the beach and booze. And then they go out again Saturday night. And then on Sunday, they finally go home and, and sleep for like a day and a half. And they just don't sleep. That's awesome. And it's because it's all of... all cocaine, but yeah. And the Midnight Sun situation. Right. Um, but liquor stores stop selling booze uh at i don't know like 10 p.m and they know these liquor there's these services that know that young people are going to need booze because at like 5 a.m 4 a.m the bars and the nightclubs close but there's a, the streets it's you can drink out in the streets open bottle policy Sounds incredible and so what what you people do is when last call hits you do like i'll take a round of 20 beers from the bar and you just walk out into the streets with them and then there are these cars that are driving by that have gone to the liquor stores before they've closed and purchased gigantic crates of like vodka and fruit juice and stuff like that and they'll be like hey you want to buy a, a thing and you get like you buy a handle and you buy some juice and then people come gather around you and you create a little hangout on the street and dance on the streets and stuff at five in the sounds like the awesome. coolest party ever it's fun it was cool fuck Orleans, I mean, you can drink on drinking on the street is you feel like you're doing something illegal, but it it just rules. Because there's that moment at the when you're like, especially in a bar hopping city, where you're like, okay, let's finish these drinks and go to the next spot, and you're like, we don't have to yeah. finish these drinks, right. and go to the next mm. spot. We'll take these drinks to the next spot. Also, ordering like in New Orleans, and I'm sure it's similar in Iceland, like you you finish your drink and you're like, all right, yeah, we're, well, you order a drink for walking. Yeah. That's the best. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yes. Like, well, I don't have to stop drinking. They have a Big name styrofoam for those? cup with a... Yeah. yeah. No. I don't know. Do they call them roadies? Yes, yeah. Roadie roadies. makes sense. That's all I thought of was a roadie. Okay, so can you one-up that story? Oh, yes. so oh not really. Full searched? Yeah. I mean, I, I was... Uh, this was probably in 2013 or 14. I had just dropped out of Fordham Law School. <laughs> That's right. You are a Fordham dropout. Everyone should remember that. Yep. Uh, Trump's all Harvard accomplishments. Is this Even your I first from experience there. with it's failure? Crazy. It's embarrassing. Uh, I, well, I, it's hard for me to frame that as a failure because it was a, a decision. I'll frame it for you. <laughs> <laughs> made based on what I thought I would prefer to do. I have a question for you, Francis. This is uh, off of this. You could continue your story. Would you, if if you were 18 years old right now, do you think you would have been one of those kids that made Ivy League Day TikTok? What is that? Oh, yeah, it's like just things. kids, like a list of the Ivies, whether they got accepted or not, and they do it like live? I wouldn't have. Okay. Uh, it pissed me off. There was one kid who was like the hottest dude ever. Uh, he got into every Ivy. Uh, I was like, fuck, and all the comments were like chicks being like, do you want a wife? And I was like, fuck this kid. Was he a white kid? Yeah. That's impressive. Yeah. Yeah. He's tan. Wow. Looked like he was from like L.A. or something. All, all of them. Yeah, yeah. All right. So keep going. So you found your soul. Well, I was I just I didn't know what I wanted to do. And I um, I was tutoring a lot and that was going pretty well. But that didn't seem like a, a you know lifelong thing. And so I decided to go to Iceland by myself and I went over there. Just, just to spend four days alone, hiking and going in the hot springs and all kind of stuff and meet some people. And while I was over there, I started writing these very long email recaps to like 15 to 20 of my closest friends. And those served as the basis for sort of the tone that I developed as a, as a blogger. That's awesome. That's really cool, yeah. yeah. That was that kind of writing that, that you did find your soul. led me to think that maybe yeah. I could yeah. try to write at Barstool someday. Traveling, I've... Yeah, Brandon. Well, doesn't that, that mean really that he didn't like the story? No, it was like the story. story. Traveling alone, I've never done it. Is it weird? Uh, you have to get into it, into the mindset of it. Yeah. That's like yeah. all I used to do. I like yeah. used to love traveling by myself. You I meet like, a lot more people. Yep. Yeah. I don't think it's I would. Cool. I think I would do the same thing I do here. I would like go to my hotel room and just like 
look at my phone. Yeah, turn on ESPN. It just yeah. Stay it's, up. Way I don't think past. I'd be a good solo traveler. I'd be too. You gotta nervous. find the like going to open mic nights in different cities and just telling them you're from out of town and all the comedian people are were usually this is a long time ago, but like we'll come out with us after we'll show you like our nooks and crannies of the city or like I found going to like smaller breweries they're really open to talking to you and once they find out you're not from there they'll show you around and like I would stay in shitty hostels. And people too are so like they just want to show you. Where'd you yeah. Where did you there. do that? Um, I know in Richmond, went out with a bunch of comedians there one night. But like I did like a long weekend of Richmond by myself, and then I flew out to the West Coast, rented a car, and just spent weeks by myself. Just Oregon, Washington, just going down the coast and like into the boonies and That's like cool. met strangers and went tubing down the Snoqualmie River ends and always ends in tubing. Like <laughs> I, wish I went I had... to like a random wedding. Like I ended up having like That's... yeah, I ended up having like the best time and meeting the yeah. best people. I feel like solo travelers, like, they have something that I don't have that I wish I did. Well, I think I think to say solo traveler, I mean, there are people who presumably do it a lot, but to do it once or twice in, in, a, in a moment is, is cool. But, like, they, like Donnie, like, I mean, he's obviously the, the far end of the spectrum. Where Doesn't he often have, like, a camera guy? Not back there? in the day. I suppose not, yeah. He would I do it like, all himself. Selfishly, there was something kind of addicting about it where after a while, I, like, only, like, because no, nobody else has any. You get to do exactly what you want to do in the moment. You're like, well, I'm going to make a left turn here. And no, there's nobody else to consider. Mm -hmm. And, like, it gets, like, really kind of addicting. Like, yeah. you can do whatever the hell you want and go That's wherever cool. you want. It's kind of cool. Yeah. yeah, the Pizza Hut tastes so good when you <laughs> have some bitch in your ear. Yeah, you know, you nobody's, <laughs> nobody's <laughs> nagging you and, you know, telling you what to do. But, yeah. I, don't I know. do like going to different cities and just walking. I might do that. I might do a solo trip. Yeah. That's cool, you man. Do one with me? Yeah. Okay, nice. Let's <laughs> do it. Don't talk to yeah, each let's other. Let's together. <laughs> <laughs> I used to travel solo for like a lot of the battle rap stuff I do, but I'd go yeah. to a city and I'd be around a bunch of battle rappers, but I'd find myself like alone or whatever. But Nick, I was like you. I was like, I didn't, I'd be like alone in Australia for a couple of days and like I wasn't like meeting people. Even at like I stayed at a hostel, I didn't like it. Yeah. No. It was like I, I just didn't feel like being around like a bunch of other people where it was like private but not private. So I might I might not have that same that same yeah. part. You wanna come with me and Nick? On I might a solo go with you guys on a let's, solo. let's get a big a three man group. solo. <laughs> <laughs> You know the weird, the weirdest thing I remember was that like uh, when I was a, I did it when I was a single guy, and you feel really creepy talking to women because you're alone, right? And it's like uh, that's weird, but as soon as you've had a couple of drinks, you're it's not weird, and everyone trusts you, right? Yeah, I don't. Is that creepy? Them thing right where you want them? No, no. <laughs> I it, to keep did like you say as soon as they've had a couple Oh, as soon as you, you, you start, okay, you right. start speaking, <laughs> and, and it's like, oh, this guy's... All you got to do is get him, like, five or six drinks. <laughs> I feel like it makes you emotional, though, or, like, you kind of can perceive beauty a little bit more when you're, like, alone. It's just like you're just, like, sitting on a bench and being like, oh, that's like an old couple walking by, or, like, this is a beautiful beach. And you just do, like, the mo you're, you're just playing a movie in your own head. 100%. Is the main character? 100%. Do you are, it's big main character energy. Yeah. It's just like, I'm on an adventure. I, mean, I also cried alone in the car a lot. <laughs> I was, uh, no, I cried alone on a park I'm bench in like, Sweden. I, it was great. I cried alone on yeah. Bondi Beach in Australia. Yeah, yeah. I've it's been great there. to have a good cry. Beautiful. Yeah. So I, and I did the stand up in s Sweden. I went and did that for like three days, just did open mics. Were you nerve? Was that nerve wracking or uh, humor translate? Yeah, how does that? They do in they, they half the they, the whole countries. Oh yeah, fluent pretty much in English. But I the the goal that I had when I went over there was that I really I knew that in in Scandinavian culture, it's a very strong understood rule that whenever you go to someone's home, you take your shoes off, no matter what, hard and fast. It's like the most important thing. And I had this idea because I'd been to Sweden a couple years or Norway a couple years earlier. We went to a pregame and, and everyone just took their shoes off. Like girls were unlacing these like complicated <laughs> stiletto shoes. And um, I said I wanted to in my Airbnb, I wanted to host a, a shoeless pregame was my goal. And that day I went to this mall, this like food court and started talking to various groups of people. And that night uh, I had 40 people. At my Whoa! Break. No way! It's total strangers that I'd met that day. And everyone took their shoes Rather off. And everyone off? 
yeah of course yeah and and there were it was in the middle of winter and there was like a sliding door out to this sort of grassy area and people would go out for cigarettes and they would put their shoes on to go out and then when they came back in huh. they would take them off before they came back in Very it was really i loved that big destination if you're a foot guy yeah yeah Over there. you guys shoes off houses i don't i, I don't tell people to but i i do when i'm visiting somebody i like to take my shoes off i like having shoes on like I if too. I could until bed. Yeah, even really? in bed. Yeah. In bed, I'll sleep a pair of shoes. I take mine off as soon as I get home. Yeah, I can't. The New York streets Once are so gross. You walk through Penn Station, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Gotta. It's like being feeling like I can just run out at any moment. Uh, Stranger comes, street. I can leave my whole family behind. It's a fire, yeah. Yeah, I'm ready. They're not <laughs> idiots. <laughs> you have the advantage on them. Yeah, exactly. You beat them out. Oh, you just can't. As long as you're not the slowest. That's right. Fire can't get you. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna say, Stephen? Big time shoes off. I'm, I'm surprised anyone would be shoes well, off. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shoes so off. Sad. Pillow on the ground for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I do take my yeah, shoes off. I always six. ask if I go someone else's house. Like I'm never. You even have your shoes off when you're tending to your Zen garden. <laughs> Barefoot only, brother. Uh-huh. It's definitely harder to eat dinner cross-legged with your shoes <laughs> on. Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. But I've been. Uh, I went to, when I went to Pat Bev's house. I kicked my shoes off, and he was like insulted by it. Yeah, really. I was like trying to be respectful because it's like I've gotten to the point in New York where I automatically just do it at people's apartments to try and be like respectful. Yeah. Especially if they have some shoes there. But he was like, "You just came in, took your shoes off right away." <laughs> It's also like, yeah, like si- like sitting in someone else's house with your shoes off feels... Vulnerable. Yeah, it does. <laughs> like they could take your shoes, throw them out, <laughs> fucking bad guy comes in and with a chainsaw <laughs> and you can't run. You gotta pretend you're asleep and jump through the third story window. How's it, how's it going with Pat Bev? Good. Yeah? Very good. I see him uh, challenging you a bit more. Things. Yeah, I think he gets the content game a little bit more. What do you say about the polls game? Uh... He was show my shirt. He was depressed. Show my shirt on the next episode. I should. Did you see it? No. I made a shirt. See if you can pull it up. It actually, I don't want to flex on Mincy, but it sold like three hundred of them. Um, God damn. Yeah, it was a joke shirt about us almost winning. Playing first game champ. Yeah. Well, I w- I made the shirt when we were up in the third quarter, <laughs> and then I had to make a quick adjustment <laughs> when we lost the game. <laughs> Yeah, I thought that they were about I'll to send win that game. They should have put yeah, look, that. see? 2022-2023 champions. Oh. Eastern Conference playing tournament for the eighth seed. Never mind, we lost, but it was a close game. <laughs> That's pretty damn good. That's pretty fucking good. I sold good. 300 of them because that is a one of one. I told everyone, I was like, you won't get – this will be off the store in 24 hours. Damn, that is awesome. I told him he should just reframe how he talks about himself, how he's like, I've never missed the playoffs. I'd be like – I've never missed the postseason. Yeah, I say that, and it's way easier. But he was yeah. pretty—he was very bummed about it. But he took his come up and it's like a man. He seems to be becoming genuine friends with the guys in the Chicago office. Yeah, yeah. yeah he like trolls them. Yeah, he like just awesome. like waded through Eddie's conversation in like the background of like a dog walk or something <laughs> like that, just like sneakily slinked by. <laughs> we did a live stream for the fourth quarter of the game last night. Saw that. Just trying to do some extra shit. He wants yeah. to do like the field day. I don't, yeah, I don't know if he. Yeah, I don't know. We got to get him in this fucking office. But a lot of people on the live stream were clamoring for him to come on the yak. So if he's in the office, we got to get him on here. Yeah. When yeah. is he coming? Uh, I don't know. He's set at some time. We're trying to work out some live shows too for the oh, playoffs. Oh, bang out some live shows. Bro. But he's really trying to like double down or like ramp it up for the playoffs now that he's out of the playoffs. He doesn't like the feeling of not having shit to do. Mm-hmm. So he's got to be like a dad. He's like picking up Legos and shit. Mm. Worst. Mm. Enough to make a man move 80 minutes away from his office just so he's commuting for 240 minutes or whatever, 160 minutes a day. Mm-hmm. The only peace you could find. Quiet. And you wait in your parking spot for a while. Skin. And I, I, I forgot that you're not in yak shape. No. Yeah. You hit 60 minutes and you... It's 90 minutes. Three words. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got to get your... Get well, extend your wind. Got the sausage in front of me. I it's, it's got a lot going on. That rub is so good. Yeah, like a good rub. Have you seen the the the, the gay guy on on TikTok that eats just salt? For he, oh. he eats lemon pepper ice. Huh? What? Oh yeah, and he'll just he'll he'll give se- he'll just eat seasonings. That's all he eats. Straight seasonings on ice. 
What the fuck? Yeah. It sounds it good. It sounds he, the that way sounds he reviewed he made the lemon pepper ice look delicious. Really? Yeah, him. Low calorie snack. Oh, lemon it's pepper. HSM oh, or whatever. Like oh, it. oh my god. It's like he just got into every Ivy League school. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is in his rest I followed his recipe. It's fucking good. Is it really? <laughs> No. I'm, just I'm such an idiot. I'm so stupid. This is his snack? Yeah, he loves lemon pepper ice. Why's his hair doing that? Mix. Have you spent time? His favorite yellow lemon. Ooh, Look yellow how he squeezes. Lemon. <laughs> That's not doing anything. I want to kill him. I'm so excited. Is he trolling? No, I don't think. Oh, wow. I, I think that those aren't the best ice cubes for that. Definitely not. Oh. Sean Bradley's hands. You gotta get the ice. Sonic Crunch dice. Get a little pebbles. Yep. I suspect this guy is a unibrow. Yeah. Yeah. They're yeah. Cl- they're, tre- yep. they're treading close. I no, also would have said he might have an eating disorder. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. He's, he's doing yes. a TikTok That's eating a ice. A lemon great pepper. Point. But he does all these like seasoning reviews and yeah. Huh. He, well, look high at his sodium. Hair on the far right over there. It's a little puffball. Yeah, he'll talk about his favorite season. You know what just popped up on my algorithm huge in the last couple of days? Uh, cartel talk. Whoa. Where well, the, that's the do. Where the people who are actually in the cartels down in like Colombia are like, here, watch us make cocaine this afternoon. And you're watching them like making Good cocaine. Good branding for them. And they don't mind showing their faces and they don't mind showing all their shit. And it's They're probably the police. It's yeah. amazing. Oh. TJ, can you find the Ivy League admission or just search and see if it's... Brandon, you need some lemon pepper rice? Oh, I'm good. I would put that rub all over ice, yeah. and I would eat it yeah. in a bowl. Yeah. That shit was fucking fire. It's nice. I want to see Red wine steaks. Oh, no, it, it wasn't this kid. You scroll. I should have. I should have made one. Looking for hot kids. You, you, uh, you I think you'll like this, Brandon. When I got into Harvard, I had a. I had a meltdown. I don't like it so far. Why? I had a major meltdown. Why? Because I. I fucked with my head and i thought i did not deserve to get in that happened when I, got into East so I went to wvu College, yeah. yeah yeah that's when your dad was like no you have to and you were like i don't want your life yeah. and then <laughs> oh my yeah God. i remember that where else were you thinking i was i applied early there and no, uh, nowhere else i i knew i'd get in because of lacrosse did you come around how long did it take you to come around and be like all right this is i was really a it was it was a major like crisis for me so sorry you oh. went through that <laughs> oh, but uh, my point being like i i just i, <laughs> I remember I, it was really sad <laughs> my parents took me out to dinner to celebrate and they were really proud and the waitress came over and said oh are we celebrating something and they said our son just got into college and she said which one and i was like i don't want to talk about it and i got up and walked walked out oh wow and i was re- i was really bad but what if i, t- I feel if, really bad about what if it. we told that waitress that that soon-to-be Harvard grad would someday drop out of Fordham Law School. Yeah. Well, she, <laughs> she then like, after what? that, <laughs> probably yeah, would've. become a barstool beast. Yeah. <laughs> probably wouldn't ask. One yeah. day, you should try to get, oh, if you win Barstool Beast, you should see if the Harvard, like, whatever, alumni magazine would write <laughs> you up. Yeah. <laughs> that would be incredible. Yeah. I don't like you know, if they have that Barstool Beast. When? when? Yeah, they have the, the side thing, like, oh, yeah, like, you know, class of 92, just... Achievements. It's, yeah, yeah j- you know. They're not going to ever, uh, ever put me in that stuff. I think it was in the Wisconsin one. I didn't get invited to my uh, reunion. Oh, yeah, Graphic yeah, I remember design, that. WVU reunion. Didn't get invited. Even after you mentioned it, nobody was no, like, nothing. hey. Why? I don't know. Huh. Are you okay? You got to migrate? I got to pay. I got to pay. You ever, you do you pay. ever donate? No. I, I maybe would, but no. Why? Uh, so many better. I agree. I, I, I don't. I don't. But I know that all my friends do, and it's because they have this theory that uh, when their children come of age, the admissions committee is going to check See, their yeah, donation yeah. record. You got in, and your dad didn't go there. Nobody in my family had ever yeah. gone there. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like if I could, if I could donate for uh, like a five star quarterback, yeah. Uh, mm. But. There's so many better charities than like a uh, the inde- the four billion dollar yeah, endowment yeah, to a college slush fund. I'm I guess so never gets taken that. away. It, it to me, so it's a question money. of like, would you do you would you want 
your kids to have the oppor- an, an, an advantaged opportunity to go there, theoretically. No, <laughs> my kid Madison, can't get into no, yeah. then, uh, <laughs> my kid, yeah. <laughs> He's going to need to kill himself. <laughs> That's, I applied early to Pitt and no other schools because I was like, like I'm not going to get into Pitt, and I did not get into Pitt. <laughs> I had to go to IUP. I had to like do a backup. I, I could see it doing it for Harvard, huh? but like I state to school, back. I yeah. Mm. IUPs. That's the Harvard of Indiana. It is. It really yeah. is. Yeah. UPUI. Yeah. Just IUP. I love that every state has IUP their UI. Harvard because isn't Miami of Ohio the Harvard of Ohio? Yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Michigan is the Harvard of the Midwest. Mm-hmm. It's what they try to tell you. Yeah, everyone's got a Harvard. Into Penn State. Isn't Stanford no the Harvard of the West? I, I agree with that. Is yeah. UMass the Harvard of, of, of Massachusetts? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what is the Harvard of every state? <laughs> Rutgers. Rutgers is not the Harvard of Princeton New Jersey. Princeton is the Harvard of New Jersey. The original yeah. Ivy. Rutgers was? Yeah, well, Rutgers and William and Mary were offered Ivy League, and they said no. Well, that doesn't mean they're original Ivy. They Why were too good for the no? Ivy League. They wanted to stay public. Hmm. Is that true? Yes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check. It's that. like saying uh, like Ivy. North Korea was original UN. Or the People's I Ivy. They didn't accept. People's Republic. Yeah. People's Ivy. Wait, was Rutgers, uh, is, is it a very old school? Oh, yeah, yeah it started football. I know William & Mary is the second oldest college in America. Yeah, Rutgers, Rutgers didn't Rutgers start football? Yeah, 1869. Yeah. Well, okay, but... Just dudes would die. Now we're talking 1600s is how far back. Rutgers was established in the 1760s. Oh, well, there you go. Then, yeah, that is amazing. What was Harvard? 1636. Jeez. What were they teaching though? They were definitely what teaching were some doing? trash science. Yeah. Past yeah. Yeah. Or how to yeah. prune your apple orchard. Yeah. I mean, there were still 200 years of slavery after Harvard. Still was. Yeah, but witches not, up not there. in Massachusetts. They'd already uh, and not well. Yeah, Massachusetts Bay Colony, all that shit. John Adams was in early class there, and uh, yeah, what did they teach? Was that, that was 1700? Wait, when was Shakespeare? Anyone? Uh, he was fifteen hundreds. I thought they probably were just doing like Shakespeare until you fucking. Yeah, your eyes. That was still that new shit yeah, that I don't the think kids he was were. Hot yeah, that was one of the classics. Shakespeare was original TikTok. <laughs> All the kids just were don't on that get shit. it. <laughs> spitting. You think like people were spitting Shakespeare bars at each other, Ron? For sure. <laughs> There's a thing called. I mean, uh, battle rap is is a uh, very old. Yeah. It was called flighting, and it was like a Gaelic thing that like uh, it'd be like public. Uh, rhyming insults that people would kind of gather, but I think that that predates Shakespeare. Flighting. Wow. Imagine just like all you learn is Shakespeare and that the earth was, I guess the earth wasn't flat then, but. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was. I bet you it's rounded over yeah, time. Oh. Rounded itself out. Figured it out, I guess. I should really touch up on basic knowledge that I've lost all of. Who who found out the again. world, the earth wasn't flat? Magellan? Galileo? Oh, Magellan. Galileo? It was Galileo. Magellan, it was Galileo. Uh, went across. Okay, I'm navigated. good with that. I'm nice with that. No. Galileo. Didn't Galileo also... Ugh, Copernicus? They who, all were pedophiles. Wait, who was the one that said that uh, that d- developed the heliocentric theory, meaning the sun is the center of the universe? And goes Luka Doncic. He was in big trouble because everyone said that that was heretical. Right. Ooh. In, in that it went against religious theory. Ooh. Everything true has gone against religious theory. That actually is also yeah. true, yes. They've been wrong about everything. They kind of have. They've kind of... Yeah. Until they're not. <laughs> and you're in hell. Fuck. Who had for, that for bit? Some went a football at me. Globe. <laughs> Some comedian had a fucking hilarious bit. God damn it. George Carlin, right? Is it George Carlin ab- about how like uh, religion was getting their ass kicked oh, for like, ye- like hundreds and thousands of years? Because science and everything. And then when AIDS came along, they're like, ha, we got it. <laughs> we, Finally. We got one. <laughs> they make, like, they we told you. Prep. <laughs> yeah. Fucking prep. I can't remember who if I, I feel bad. Church is probably who's stifling out. the word about about prep. Yeah. yeah. Can't let them know. Well, the, ch- the church is. Isn't the church getting a little hip these days? The church is I, Wait, getting what a little church? hip. What church? The Justin church? church. Not I'm, the, like, the I am. You say the church, you're talking about the Vatican, right? Yeah, I'm talking about the Roman Catholic yeah. establishment. I am more open to religion now than at any other point in my life. Because you're That's getting cool. older. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, the closer you get to death. Yes. 
Interesting. Hedge your bets a little, you know. I've never met a religious baby. <laughs> Fact. True. Huh. I hadn't. So you're gonna bring religion in back into your life? You know, I I uh, I've been having uh, I've I've been having a lot of rage problems, and I've been looking <laughs> for a, a cure for it. Religion. And I thought that the Lord might help. Yeah, or out on basketball. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you could just yeah, yeah, just throw yourself into Nate Oates. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, that have you have you gone down the path? No, uh, I have a hard time squaring it with uh, my my logical brain. Maybe a different religion. I've gotten more accepting of religion as I've gotten older. I, I do, I'm not religious. I don't believe in a God, but I've gotten more accepting of other people. Welcome back to the yak, Brando. Yeah, <laughs> other people. <laughs> it used to be the shithead who's like, oh, it's not true. Like, believe what you want to believe. Yeah. It's, it's your life. I don't think there's anything wrong with people having hope. No. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I used to be one of those pricks, like the vegetarian. I'm moving like, the Bible to the fiction section of the Bard to know. Yeah, those people suck. All right, tough. It was one of those people. <laughs> <laughs> I sucked. Yeah, welcome back, Brandon. Thanks. You want to throw your sure, hat in the ring? He is gassed right now. No, no. Yeah. Do you have to do after this? How long has your Chick Fil A been? We just here? we we basically Chick Fil A today because I had to get it on every stop during my trip back uh, with the boys. We so, took uh, you from we took you from the DL to 120. Yeah, pitches. you're you're pushing me right now. We didn't extend you at all. <laughs> Nadu's in for a beating tonight. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, once, Brand, once Brandon gets a couple in him, yeah, a couple, a couple sweet teas in him, takes oh, his belt no. off. Oh no, Nadu is gonna get it. <laughs> Oh, uh, you should just randomly pop off at him. I, th- I think I'm going to. It's a funny. Oh, good. Because he, Nadu is like one of those very interesting guys who's like, he isn't on it, but also not. He doesn't really take it personally. Like, oh, he I doesn't. He'd still say like. he likes yeah. Brandon. Yeah. Right, exactly. Yeah. His That's a good quality. His, uh, his stuff with the women is uh, uh, confusing. As I feel like sweet. he's the only person here who, not that he would, but who could sexually harass me, and I'd be like, Fair enough. It's Riz. you. It's I get it. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's Riz. Riz. Like, and nobody we were going to make you pump. But I feel like. <laughs> Hang on, girl. <laughs> also, <laughs> we're coming. As, <laughs> I know you're in pain. <laughs> is, uh, wouldn't you say too, Kate? Like shorter guys are kind of get away with that a little more. I feel like there's a leeway. Yeah. Where you're like, okay, all right. Yeah, right. Well, you confront them on it, and they'll be like. You're not God or my father or my boss. <laughs> <laughs> did you tell her we were gonna milk her? Yeah, yeah, huh. yeah we did. We we yeah. did say we that. We didn't ask her. <laughs> we t- we t- so there's gonna be a milk wheel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the dude. I don't know what's confusing about him. He just he gets broads. Yeah. I just I, who, who's filming when he's doing the sort of cozying up? Other broads. That yeah, how could you not so. film that? And him a lot. And then if I were a girl at the club and I saw someone filming me do, dancing around with him, I'm not so sure that I would keep going. Not, and not nothing against him. I just feel like I wouldn't want. But you're to totally. Camera. What you're doing is you're talking about this situation in a vacuum in a in a world without Riz. Mm. <laughs> so, Here's a little bit of the Riz of the situation yeah. too. Like if you're a social media guy, I've seen social media guys pull this type of Riz before. You pull out your phone while you're in a public setting and do the social media around the people and then they see that you have a social media following uh, that's riz also his track suits look good to grind on yes the floor. Yeah, i just slip really right off he also like linoleum flooring that's not part of the riz but it doesn't hurt no. he also might get the occasional like someone comes up to him that is yeah. i feel like at a club or a bar specifically Caveat in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Yeah, that but goes like that. A long way. I feel like when when someone yeah. comes up and asks for a picture, everyone's like, "Who's that?" Yeah. yeah. And then the Riz takes. Over. Well, we should just start a business then. Of like, we'll a guy out on a date, and somebody's like, "Hey, man, can I get a picture?" Big yeah, fan, a Riz. It is. Riz. What? How are we gonna monetize Riz? Just like that. No, but a well-timed picture with a stoolie can do wonders. Mm. 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 Just do it. Nah, I say no to pictures. Always. You always have. Mm. What am I Kiss getting? Kiss them instead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why don't we make it last longer? <laughs> <laughs>
Let's just touch dicks. Let's just touch dicks. <laughs> Listen, everyone can get a selfie with any celebrity. Mm-hmm. How many celebrities will touch dicks with you? <laughs> you guys stand during the race, the ass fuck wheel, or the? Oh, I was the, so the, drunk and I was so adamant. You're talking about, about doing just one five foot by five foot coin that if you bought it, yeah, you could you fuck whoever in the ass. Yeah. You, you had to like lug it around with you though. <laughs> like the thing is, if you saw him coming, you'd be like, "I'm going to go this way." Yeah, has a yeah, 500 pound coin. It's hard to sneak up on. Yeah, yeah. T- uh, tungsten. It should be tungsten. It should be. If yeah. I get tapped on the shoulder and I just like see the circle shadow behind me, I'm just I'm just going to spread my cheeks. <laughs> I'm not even turning around. Have your way. <laughs> oh, TJ, should we spin the wheel? Speaking of, it's been a fun yak, guys. I'm having fun. TJ, how many boxes do you have for your 40 uh, minute unboxing? Probably like. 15 20 Perfect. are you doing it uh sometime this week i have meetings today and tomorrow at 3 30 so i'm already expired for today but this week damn they're, they have meetings you yeah. go to meetings i have architecture meeting for this show after this oh show. oh wait oh, fuck. I, I have a studio meeting that was one of the meetings that i missed uh-huh. and i think they told me i have another one today oh, geez. right tj this one's i don't know if you're on it but Hank's. I mean, if you want to, it's about this show, so I would love. Hank it. got mad at me yesterday because we we did the PMT studio and yeah, I just switched everything that he had. <laughs> He's just like, "What the fuck, dude?" Uh, all right, yeah, spin the wheel. I gotta ask Titus what my studio is gonna look like. Yeah. <laughs> if you if you don't quit, yeah. almost got the whole thing. Ooh, all right, we'll stop. A little dry. Okay, very fun yak. Mm-hmm. Very fun yak. Thank you, Francis. Thank yeah, you for having me. Well. Are you around the rest of the week? I am. All right, I think we're light because his Ron, you're gone. Uh, no, my flight's not till five thirty tomorrow. So you're here tomorrow. Great. I'm gonna come in to, to yak. All right. You're insane. Why? <laughs> well, Nick. No. Where are you flying out? Forty three. Uh, no, you'll be fine. Nick is psycho. Oh, that yeah, makes I'm me not worried about it. Leave at two thirty. You have three hours. Yeah. What 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 airport? That's what I'm looking up right now. Uh, as long as it's not JFK. Uh, JFK, isn't it? Where are you going? It's JFK. JFK. It is. If you're flying to Austin, it's, it you, is JFK probably. Yeah, yeah. You, you leave at 2, you're fine. 2.30. No, you're I'll fine. Leave at 2. I'll come in, yeah. yak for an hour. Love that. Hmm. Fuck it. I love that from you. You should take the New Jersey from Penn Station transit out to Jamaica and then hop on the air train from there. That's the quickest way to get there. I've heard it's... Yeah, it's... I heard that was the best. Really doable. It's easy. Nah, hopping in. I got to Yeah. Uh, how about I just give you the card and you just do a new one? <laughs> I got one on there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How I got one. Got, how many people have you got in your fleet? How many people do I have? I've. Uh, in your fleet? Yeah, Brandon's in mine. A couple people. You're probably are. in my fleet, too. Oh, I'm in his. Yeah, he's in mine. A couple people are in my fleet. And and he got me figure out a flow chart. <laughs> card. I don't know why. It's your, and some people I don't even know who. Because like, they were like, you went from this place to this place. And it's like, I wasn't there. <laughs> like you're gonna have to pay for this. I, I wasn't there. So like it says, it's Adam. It's like I don't know what to tell you. I wasn't there. So I guess Smitty's on it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know some other people. Uh, all right. See everyone tomorrow. Um, happy birthday, Matt Gallo, from your brother, Chris, and happy birthday, Caleb Kroll.